everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do a brand new panning project this is exciting because I was contacted by Maggie on Instagram I'll link her Instagram details down below but she contacted me and contacted a bunch of other project panners here on YouTube and also Instagram and yeah so this is the start of it this is the intro I'm going to pick my products today so the theming of this project pan is that it's the June bride project pan so all of the prompts are wedding related which I thought was such a cute idea I um, have been engaged for quite a few many years now so I just haven't uh, planned any wedding or anything like that I don't know when I'll plan a wedding but um, it is in the horizon I've only been to a couple weddings in my life as well so not too many but I do think that weddings are so wonderful and I think it was a cute idea for her to have different prompts for different products that we can roll into the project. So there are 20 prompts and the idea is you project pan five at a time and it's a rolling style so if you empty or hit pan or depending on what your goal is for that particular product you roll in, then you roll in a new shade with the new prompt. So I haven't picked my products yet, I'm actually going to do it on camera. I'm going to do the number generator, pick the prompts, and then I'll figure out what products I have that sort of relate to it. I am going to include some skincare because I figured that might give me a little bit, uh, you know, wiggle room. But I'll try to focus it mostly on makeup if I can. But if I do have a skincare item that I can roll in, then I will do. So I think we're going to do this until next year, next June. So, so it's a little bit less than a year long project. And yeah, I'm just going to get stuck in. I've got my number generator 1 through 20. I'm going to pick the first five. So that's 16, 7, 8. I'll roll again. 20 and uh, 8 again. I'll roll again. I'll roll again. 15. Okay, let me see what those prompts are. Okay, so in backwards order number 15 is the wedding checklist, something on its last leg or almost done. So this is an interesting one. So let me just figure out what I wanna do for this one. So I've decided to use my ordinary primer. This is the high adherence silicone primer. There is a lot of air in here, but I do think that this is on its last leg. I don't think there's really that much product left because it's very, very light. I've had it for a year. So I'm gonna use this one. This will be my first product that I roll into this project. So the second prompt was number 20. That's the father, daughter dance, something you think is special. Ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a tricky one. Okay, this took a really long time to figure out because I, I, I don't know if I have a lot of special items. I have items that people have given me and I guess that would be considered special. So that's what I've gone with. This is the Colour Fix from Deli Plus. My mom got this for me. She bought it in Spain. It is a Spanish or European brand, like a drugstore brand. It's super cheap. Um, she got me three of them just to try out. She got, um, it was a cream highlighter, a uh, blush and also this lipstick. So this is a really lovely colour. I actually like it so it was kind of hard for me to roll in to the project. It's a really lovely mauve but I do have a lot of product there. I think it's going to be a really easy one for me to just sort of enjoy and get through. Um, it, it kind of pains me to like finish it up but at the same time there's no point having product if you don't use it. So yeah I'm going to put this one in as my second item. Okay the third one that I picked was eight which came up three times so they definitely want me to pick eight. So eight is the reception venue something borrowed slash old. Ooh, okay. Actually, I have something in mind for this. So I'm going to pick this Maybelline Tattoo Brow. My mum gave this to me, so she did glutted it to me. And it is a pretty old item, so it's slash borrowed and old. And it's horrible, so I'm going to uh, put it into the project, see if I can use it up, maybe put some use into it, and then I guess eventually declutter it or maybe finish it depending on uh, how I get along. But yeah, I'm going to add this one in. And then number seven was the fourth prompt. So number seven is the honeymoon sex themed product, product name, etc. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't even know if I have anything that has a strange name, but I will try and find something. Okay, wow, that took me a really long time. I think I've been looking for the last half an hour for a product. <laughs> Um, but I have picked something and it's, it's not sexy or anything, but it's like 
falls in line with that category so no judgment here I mean I guess this could also go in a different category of like angelic uh, um, of um, angelic and you know purity and everything but I have this single eyeshadow from Estate and the eyeshadow name is Virginity so I'm picking this product for this prompt I literally could not find a dirty sounding product that I have in my collection I know there are some but I don't have them I haven't purchased them I went through like all the names and I was like that's not dirty that's not like sex themed or anything whatever but yeah I'm gonna pick this one and it is a lovely um, eyeshadow it's like a bronzy eyeshadow but it's really really beautiful and I've never really used it so I'm actually excited to put it into the project I guess my goal would be to just show a little bit more progress I think because I'm gonna just put a 20 use to it if it's just like continues going and I've got like no progress and I'll roll it out but if I can hit pan then that would be really exciting so I'll do like a 20 to 25 usage if there's literally no way that I am gonna hit pan then I'll roll it out but if I can get to hit pan on this then that'll be exciting so yeah I'm gonna roll that in for my fourth prompt and then the last prompt was number 16 so let's have a look and see that one is the wedding day something that reminds you of love Ooh, okay this might be an easier one to do because this could be anything so let me go have a look and see what I have and then I will come back okay I am back so I actually pulled a nail polish this is from Academy of Color this is just a lovely mauve color it doesn't have a name I got it in a bundle um but yeah I think this is a beautiful mauve sort of um muted pink color and for me that sort of just reminds me of love i could have gone for red i was looking at all these red products and i thought no 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 let's pull something that i actually i'm going to be able to show progress on and not just pull like crazy items that i just not going to be able to actually pan so this one i think i'm going to be able to you know use use it up because i have some nail polishes and i just forget about them so yeah it's a good point to add something to the project and then i'll be able to work through it so these are all the items that I'm going to be using. I'm kind of excited about this project. I am going to add them to my project pan sort of basket where I've got my pan as eyeshadows as well uh, and my partners in cream. So yeah, all of these are going to go in with my other project pan products and I will update um, you not every month, but it's going to be a every couple of months update. And um, I know a lot of people are going to be updating just through Instagram and things like that. Or if you've got a YouTube channel, they'll be update through there. Um, but check out the other girls who are doing this. We're going to post on the 9th of every other month. And hopefully I can show some progress in a couple of months time. Um, I feel like I will definitely be able to finish this one up for sure. Um, maybe the tattoo one I might have to declutter depending on how bad it is. The estate, yeah, again, I just want to hit pan, so I might be able to do some progress there. This one, I might be able to show some signs of progress, maybe get it down like halfway. And also this one, I imagine it's going to be quite easy to pan this. I just, in my heart, not sure I really want to. That's why it's more like a special item because my mum got it for me and that's the only reason why it's special. Also, it's a nice product as well. But yeah. I'm really excited and hopefully this will be a good project to just follow us on. Um, I'll do the little uh, hashtag so you can see anyone else who's doing that on YouTube. But I just want to thank Maggie for asking me to join this project and um, I will link her details down below. But thank you so much. Like and subscribe if you'd like to and I'll see you next time. Bye!